What started as a fun adventure ended with a very grisly discovery. As they poked open the suitcase with a stick, the smell became overwhelming. When cops got there, they confirmed the presence of human remains in the trash bag stuffed inside the suitcase. Went randonauting the other day, found a dog off their leash, tried to find the owner, later found out the owner was dead. Why is no one talking about the fact that randonaut led them here? Randonautica, an app designed to help people explore this crazy and vast world we live in. An app that gives you a truly random location. But is the app really all about exploring the world we live in? Or is there something more sinister going on? After watching the video put forward my next poll, my interest was piqued. I decided to do some of my own research and see what this app is all really about. If you go to their website, randonautica.com you'll easily be able to find out who they are what they're about and what the intentions are let's go through the site the world's first quantumly generated choose your own adventure reality game explore the world you never knew existed the randonautica app puts the user in the director's chair of an adventure story yet to be written by using the app the user can break from their mundane day-to-day -day and take a journey of randomness into the world around them your mind is your guide as you observe and view the world differently. Traveling into unknown is a journey like no other. Break out of your reality tunnel, recalibrate your mind, and have some fun or an adventure into the world that you never knew existed. Welcome, future Randonaut. What is Randonauting? Randonauting is the act of using the Randonautica app to generate a truly random location sourced with quantum entropy. The user can choose to venture to these locations to see what they find. They often discover that what they see lines up with their intention, which is what they were thinking about when they generated the point. But even if this doesn't happen, it's a way to mindfully explore the world around them. There are two main parts of random nodding, exploring blind spots or places nearby that are outside of your conscious awareness and experimenting with mind matter interaction, the hypothesis that consciousness can influence the distribution of random numbers. This is all just fancy talk of saying you're going to go to random places. Places that you may not even know about, but they can be really close to you. Now, the Randonautica app is available on your iOS and Android devices, and you're also able to use it on a computer if you do so desire. But obviously, with the purpose of the app to get you to get out and go outside, you're most likely going to be using this on the phone. The people at Randonautica do actually give you a pretty good guide as to what to do while utilizing the app. Telling people to stay away from anything that's dangerous, don't go onto people's property. Let's look at the top 10 rules that they put out. And of course they've updated their about section with the following guidelines to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Saying to follow all the state and local protocols for the area when Randonauting. So if you're with a group, wear a mask just be responsible and safe. Rule one, never trespass on a private property. We are serious. Get as close to the point as you are comfortable without trespassing on a private property. Never enter someone's backyard without permission. Never enter privately marked wooded or commercial areas. Trespassing on a private property is a direct violation of the user agreement for Randonautica. Users and law enforcement will see the user is liable for trespassing or damages not randonautica do not trespass number two stay totally clear of dangerous areas never go near train tracks railways or restricted electrical or power zones additionally old structures houses and buildings should be avoided entirely the structural integrity could be jeopardized due to deterioration now i've ventured over to the uh, randonautica subreddit and i've definitely seen a few photos of people going to train tracks and the like areas so I think this is more just a way of them covering themselves. Only adventure during the day. The human mind is not trained for uncertainty, and traveling to a totally randomized set of coordinates requires you to over-observe your surroundings and practice situational awareness. This is much easier to do while it's light outside. Random nodding at night is highly discouraged. Now, with the point of the app giving you completely random locations, of course, during the day is going to be the better option. It may take you to a place that you've never been to before or that you didn't even know existed, and it could be right near you. So, 
doing it during the day lets you be able to see everything that's going on and take as least of a risk as possible. And of course, you're going to get the creepiest experience if you happen to do it at night, which is what I ended up doing. But if you're not comfortable being outside late at night, whether you're alone or with a group, then only utilize this app during the day. Leave the environment better off than when you arrived. Since the very beginning of the Randall Knot community, we've always said, bring a trash bag. Not only will you help Mother Nature by picking up litter, sometimes the trash can have a unique and meaningful information to you. Always Randall Knot with a charged phone. Be smart and charge your phone or bring a car charger. GPS can drain your battery and you're likely to be in an unfamiliar area. Again, going back to the fact that this is supposedly giving you a truly random location, uh, being the fact that you're probably just not going to be able to drive right up to where it wants to, you're going to have to walk a little bit on foot, uh, you're definitely going to need a charged phone. You need a light source, you're going to be able to know where you're going, and let's say you get in a state of distress, uh, that way you at least have some sort of contact to the outside world. A dead phone is of no use. Keep a positive mindset. What you think, you observe. Negative intentions are highly discouraged. The Randonautica app was created to bring joy, peace, and love to curious explorers all around the world. Go on the journey with a friend or small group. While randonauting alone is entirely acceptable, beginners should start in a small group or with a friend. Uncertainty of where you're going, the randomness, can cause a fear factor response, and having a buddy helps. Do not venture into areas outside your comfort zone. Only make a trip to areas and places that you are comfortable exploring. If you feel unsafe, do not leave your vehicle or retreat from the point. Randonautica does not know anything about the area you live in. Use common sense. Number 9. Always use common sense when it comes to your personal physical limitations. Sometimes a point might be in an area that is inaccessible without climbing, hiking, etc. Know your limits. Always hydrate and do not overextend yourself. Yeah, with an app like this, you're going to be exploring the world. Not everyone has the same physical ability, uh, so some people may be okay with climbing up some structures, some people may be okay with water, others not. So, obviously, know what you can do and be prepared to do what you need to, but don't go out of your comfort zone. Number 10, enjoy the whole journey, not just the point. It is close to the point as you are comfortable with, but know the journey is sometimes the more meaningful experience. Is pretty much just saying, enjoy the ride too, don't just go looking for this specific point. You're going to have to travel. This is a experience the whole thing. Now when you are actually creating that point and the RNG system is working, it does tell you to focus on your intention. And all that really means is in your head, think about what it is you are wanting to experience at this location are you looking for something real fun to do and just exploring the world are you looking for something demonic satanic are you looking for something that's going to creep you out or are you just looking to kind of explore the world what is your intention you're trying to find nature you're trying to find wildlife focus on that in your head there's no actual place to put that in it's just telling you to focus on it and that's all a mental thing and there is a question of, well, I'm not really seeing anything. And it says that the system does not guarantee a result, since there always remains an element of probability. Also, the manifestation of your intention will not necessarily be directly at the point where the coordinate was obtained. It may meet you somewhere along the way. A point is just a guideline that make you move in the right direction and provide a positive result. If you continue to find nothing for many experiments, try techniques to enhance that effect, such as chaining. If you do want to read more on what these different words are, what, you know, the voids, attractors, and all of that are, I'll leave a link to the Randonautica website down below in the description. Uh, so if you have any more questions, you know, feel free to explore the website and explore the app a little bit. So going through all of what Randonautica is doesn't really seem like there's anything sinister going on here. It just seems like an app created to help people explore this world that we live in without venturing too far away. You can set different distance limits so that way you're not driving an hour to get to a destination only to find nothing. But just based on seeing some YouTube videos, Reddit comments, and what their website says can only really get you so far. You're only really going to know what the app holds if you actually partake in what it offers. So let's get into random nodding. Let's see what this app is like. You send your location and it goes, hey, where do you want to go? Let's go with an anomaly. Choose your entropy source. We'll go with annual. 
Focus on your intent. I don't know what my intent is. Intention driven anomaly found. Type, void, radius, uh, power. Uh, I don't know what any of that means. Let's go. All right, so basically where it just sent me was somebody's private property, and we ain't doing that, so let's do a void. All right, so the app just kept giving me people's houses, and I'm not about to just go onto people's own property, so uh, I was finally able to get an actual source that was at a pretty decent length away, and it's not just someone's house, so... That's what I'm looking forward to. That's what we're going to be going to right now. I ended up using my phone as the entropy source and not using the ANU. Um, I'm guessing that might have been the issue. Uh, from what I read, the ANU was the best one of true randomness and everything else isn't necessarily super random, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. We'll be there in a few minutes. All right, well, about as close to this thing as I can be without being on somebody's property, which I probably already am on somebody's property. Just hope this can go decently. Shoes are wet. So the anomaly is basically right on the other side there. And that's apparently what I'm looking for. So I think I'm just going to try to walk up the ridge. I knew I should have worn boots. Whatever. I'm just getting wet tonight. And my fucking legs are... I'm already soaked as it fucking is. You made a dumb choice, Nick. Yeah, we're like right on top of it. Mostly just going a little bit more down this way. So nothing. This thing did lead me right to a crick edge. Exact. That's where the Randonautica app put me. Ah. Uh, I do quite enjoy this, though. It's nice to I don't know, just explore the world. I think the only thing of real concern would be that... Uh, that rock thing, but I've seen plenty of people do that before, so that's not really a concern. 
Let's see what happens if I get up here. So I'm parked right now in the middle of East Bump, trying to find a uh, new entropy source. I'm doing it through my phone again, because every time I do ANU, it puts me right at somebody's house. So I don't know if that's because of where I live, and like, I just, I don't know. I live in like, I live near a lot of open space. So like, it'll put me, I don't I don't know, but well, we're gonna see where this takes us. We're doing an anomaly this time for my current location, and I'm not really super close to home, so <laughs> it's good. this could end up going pretty bad, but I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, well, we are at, at the location of this next uh, pin I just dropped. Literally, it was right here, and, but I don't, you know, I don't want to trespass onto any of it. Technically, I already am. After scrubbing through all of the footage I had from that night, I 
really didn't find anything unusual, neither in person nor while editing. The two main places I explored were nature. No people, no rotting carcasses, no satanic symbols, nothing really creepy, nothing ominous, nothing that drew too much attention to itself out of the ordinary. Do I think Randonautica could potentially lead you to some dangerous areas? Yeah, but I think that's bound to happen with anything truly random. Out of all the news clips and research I've done, the only horrible thing is those people that came across that body in a suitcase. Everything else is just unsubstantiated claims from someone making a comment. But I think the large majority of experiences during random nodding is just going to turn out to be what I went through. A fun little nature walk exploring different areas of the place you live that you haven't explored before. You might be able to see something strange out of the ordinary, something potentially scary. But I think for the most part, Randonautica is doing exactly what it set out to do. Getting people to explore the world in different areas and in different ways. It's not an app designed to scare people. It's not an app designed to show you the horrors of the world. It's an app designed to help you explore the world. It just so happens that sometimes the world is pretty morbid. And with that, I'll leave you with one final question. What do you think of Randonautica? Do you think there's something darker behind the scenes? Or do you think it's just another app to help people explore? Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.